You might have heard of the blockchain trilemma, that is ensuring that a network is fast, secure and decentralized. Well, there is a new platform that does all of this, but also in an eco-friendly way. And the team here at Be Crypto think you should have it on your radar. Algorand, the project we're talking about today, also proposes a solution for stablecoins and governments to launch their very own CBDC blockchain. So now they're getting quite popular among nations, we think they might get popular within the crypto community too. Algorand is also able to create and deploy tokens, mint NFTs, hold stable coins, launch securities, the list is go on and on. So we're gonna find out a little bit more about what this project is about. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to like the video and subscribe. It makes such a big difference and it's helping us hit that 10,000 milestone. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, how does Algorand work? Algorand is actually a relatively new platform that's made for developers to create decentralized applications with low fees and also fast transaction speeds. It's similar to Ethereum and Avalanche and Matic. And in other words, Algorand offers a framework where people can essentially build whatever they want. Now let's take a look at transactions per second because Nano can actually handle 1,000 transactions per second. Cosmos, for example, can do 10,000. And for reference, Bitcoin can do seven. At the time of this recording, Ethereum can handle 30 transactions per second. So maybe the protocol that will dethrone legacy global payment processes that we all know has already been born in this generation of crypto startups. Who knows, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Now it's time to turn our attention to the Algorand team. And this is what got my attention. So Algorand was actually founded back in 2017 by the person who was believed to be the father of many key components of any functioning blockchain that we know today. So this was Silvio McAuliffe and his research interests actually expand over cryptography, zero knowledge tech, secure protocols and economic designs. A Turing Award winning professor Silvio is actually famous for being one of the most prominent mathematicians and computer scientists of the last 50 years. So the founder certainly sounds like a very impressive man and now we're going to turn our attention to some of the key points they picked out on their website. So their website actually puts the Algorand builds tech that accelerates the convergence between decentralized and traditional finance and it does this by enabling next generation financial products, protocols and exchanges of value. So the Algorand team officially began launching the mainnet in late June after raising $66 million in funding and it promised a really pure proof of stake blockchain that's fast, secure and truly decentralized. Now this gave the protocol an initial market cap of 24 billion US dollars, which is a strong start in comparison to other emerging starting caps. Now this is all good and well, but what about implementation and use case of the plot project? One of the main use cases of Algorand is actually its ability to create stable coins and also how it's shaping up to be a popular network for the issuance of stable coins and you guessed it CBDCs, which you know many leading economies are now part of this huge race to be the first ones to successfully digitize their sovereign currencies and some are doing this to leverage their position for world dominance. So earlier this year, the Marshall Islands actually announced the Marshallese sovereign as one of the world's first national digital currencies and the nation teamed up with Algorand to develop this currency. Now there was also reports from Bitcoiners that El Salvador officials have had meetings with the Algorand team to work on a stablecoin. And thanks to a partnership between the Canadian company with crypto foundations called StableCorp and the Canadian dollar stablecoin called QCAD, this will soon be available via the Algorand blockchain. And StableCorp actually says the speed of Algorand blockchain will allow the QCAD to find additional use cases. So now speaking of partnerships with notable partners include Frontier, which received a grant from the Algorand Foundation to grow the Algo DeFi ecosystem. Cryptocurrency asset security platforms Curves has also joined forces with Algorand and will initiate and integrate the network within the asset agnostic technology infrastructure and also will benefit from Curves custody solutions. So it seems the development team there are very busy. That was a lot of information for you guys, but also a lot of updates. Now let's have a look at what is next. So at the beginning of 2021, there was a surging interest in Algorand due to its capacity as a platform for stablecoins, since they're becoming increasingly integrated to traditional financial channels. So Algorand's chain has also proven itself as a really viable host for CBDC deployments, given the fact that it's fast, it's cheap, and it's secure with transactions. 
So to this day, multiple assets like USDT and USDC have already been deployed on Algorand. So it seems like it's only a matter of time before more stable coins are also introduced. So with massive transaction speeds clocking up 46,000, it really seems they're keeping their promise of being a faster and more scalable alternative to the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Although one comment is they should focus on one use case and try not to become a jack of all trades and a master of none. Alternatively though, it is very interesting to see the future of this project. Let me know in your thoughts if you've picked this up on your radar. And guys, if you are looking to get started, you can trade top crypto futures or hold them on Storm Game, which is great being crypto's partner crypto currency exchange. The link is down in the description box below and you might get a cashback promo on your very first deposit. That is all for this video. Make sure to subscribe to not miss future updates like this and we'll see you all again very soon.